I'm Dale Brisby, greatest bull rider ever to walk the earth, as well as the most humble. Um, today, I'm here to get an inside look, something nobody's ever gotten before. I'm sure a few people, but not caught on camera at least. I'm getting an inside look at Craig Cameron, Cole Cameron's ranch, your barn, your pens, your life. <laughs> well, it's good to have Dale Brisby in the house here. It's an honor to have you here. And, uh, you know, one thing I wanted to ask you, that, uh, you know, you, you're an American cowboy. Do you, you pull your bull rope uh, Brazilian or American style? Um, American. Well, I was hoping I'm an American. I'm wearing that. American. Yeah. And I, I, I'm, I'm glad you put it that way because I personally pull my own bull rope. I've got right here. I don't need help. You, you don't I pull need my help. own bull rope. Just all on your own. All on my own. So, so, oh, well, that's, that's incredible. You're a bull hand from... Well, back in the old days, yeah, I twisted in my share of bulls, and uh, definitely back then, you know, of course, we didn't wear vests or... or uh, you didn't helmets. need to. <laughs> we should have, yeah. So, But uh, anyway, it is a pleasure to be here, and uh, we were going to talk a little bit about horses, and, you know, some of the things that I'm doing on a regular basis to make a better horse. I make a better horse. Hey, Dale, what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> I got magical powers over everything, <laughs> even this radio. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, now you, that's pulling your own bull rope right there. <laughs> Scared myself. I don't know my own strengths. Hey, this is raw, uncut, you guys. <laughs> anyway, you know, a lot of guys just aren't taking the time to do these little simple things that, that I do almost on a regular basis because people will say to me, how do you make these horses, you know, a really good horse, a good, gentle, solid horse? It's the little things that make a big difference. You bet. Why don't you show me a few of them? Well, let's go. I'm going to catch a mare. And this mare that I'm going to catch came here as a five-year-old, a uh, five-year-old mare, and uh, never been touched. And so a lot of these horses, when they get that old, especially these mares, they can really get set in their way. So this mare uh, made me more than anything. Uh, and I think half the secret in the magic is taking your time. So I take my time with my horses. So I'm gonna walk in there and catch his pony. And I've got her, uh, I think I got her coming really good. So when I come into a horse, you know, I don't start waving flags and flagging them around. And probably my main sticks are, you know, a good halter and lead, a flag, uh, my lariat rope. But I like to whistle at these horses. And pretty soon they know my whistle. They know the sound of my voice, you know, the way I approach her. So, you know, I'm not gonna go in there and the first thing, just catch her. I'm gonna have a little rapport with her. And uh, so I'm gonna come in here and rub on her a little bit, just get to know her. I'm not just gonna walk up and uh, start haltering this horse. And pretty soon, these horses, they get to where they like to see you coming, you know? Like there's a lot of flies today, I'll rub on her face, use my fingernails right down here, rub on her cannon bone like that, just like they do with their teeth. And then uh, here I'll set my flag down and then I'll just catch this horse nice and easy. But just that couple, extra moments like that, I think it makes a big difference to the horse. You see this horse not trying to evade me or get away or nothing like that. So she didn't act like this when she first showed up to Double Horn. <laughs> no, she wasn't. I think she did a lot of stuff to avoid me, you know? And uh, so again, every day I'm doing everything I can to gain her trust, never do anything to destroy her trust. So I uh, just touch her up and so like, like, I got them in a good pen here, and, and I'm not doing anything different now than I would do just normally if there was nobody here. So, so to me, I can take my rope, and I can touch it with my rope like this, and I'll scratch her on her withers like this, like another horse, kind of dig in a little bit. I'll come around here, right up under her tail. You know, you can see already lifting her tail. Before, she would, she would clamp it. You know, I can take my rope, and it just takes me a second. Everything I'm doing is, is to gentle this horse. So as I lead her out here, here I'm gonna just get her attention, get her attention, and uh, ask her to come with me. So watch, like 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 even when I tire, like like she's anticipating now, you know, and so I'm just gonna touch her with my fly. Everything I'm doing is to just gentle this horse up. I'm not asking her to go. And really, this time of year where there's a lot of flies. I think they, they actually realize that I'm taking those flies away. And I, and I get them where I can touch them all over. I don't miss any spots with these horses. I want to get them where they're just rock solid here. 
So, again, I'm going to send this mayor. And, man, when I started, Dale, this mayor would not go forward. That was her biggest problem. So I got her where she'll just step right out. And, again, I have to be real patient. So I'm just getting her ready to saddle. And when she's going good, touch her. I want to touch her where I'm going to be sitting, where my legs will be touching her, all this stuff. Now watch me switch hands. My flag is still to my right where I can push your hip over, push your hip over. Oh, I smooth. This other eye. Do what? I like how you, you switched hands while she was still going the same direction. I think that's important. Important. Watch, I'm going to do that again. Switch hands, but my flag is still still to my to my left. See, she wants to go to the bathroom. I'm not, there's no grizzly bear chasing me. They're not a stampede. I didn't let her go to the bathroom. You ever tried to go to the bathroom while he's walking? It's, it's, it's hard, yeah. <laughs> I have tried. So, so yeah. here I step her up, step her up. Now watch, I'm going to send her, send that hip, and then send her this one. Here. Now, and I'm not in a hurry, any of that hand wool. And I can get where I can step her backwards. And I do a lot of this kind of stuff. Like, I don't wear a watch. I'm not in a hurry or anything like that. But on so, the other hand, yeah. it's only been five or six minutes. Yeah. And you've already, like, you, you, you were training on her from the moment you walked in. Exactly. I'm, I'm getting a rapport with these horses. Let me tell you something. It comes from your heart. It has to come from your heart. I'm not in a rush. I'm not in a hurry. It comes from right here. Like, like I can just drop this leg. A lot of people say, how do you, you know, they, they want to get them picking up their feet. In the beginning, I just want her to just pick it up, and I'm going to set it back down. That's enough to start with. So she was really tough on this. So I'll go down like a little bug and just crawl down, squeeze her, and she picks it up. That's enough. Now I'm going to be in a sequence. So it'll be left, left, right, right. And if I do the same sequence, pretty soon she knows. So I go down, let's get her to give me that much to start. Set it back down. Go down, get her to see her shift her weight. She'll have to shift her weight, pick it up. Go down, pick it up. And that's how I'm going to start. She doesn't have to give it to me for a long time. If you notice, I didn't drop it. I set it back down. I just set it back down. So again, all these little things like... Like, you know, like just rubbing her eyes, putting my hands on her in a good way, just gentle with her. Here, and watch y'all turn her to the right here so I can head to that gate. See, she's already anticipating. And then I'm going to ask this mayor to come right on out this gate with me here. So, but you'll watch. 90% of the people just walk out the gate. I'm going to add a little something to it, so it's going to help me in everything I do. Pony and the horse, trailer loading, anything. Like, like, watch, I got a lot of guys use the ball. They get them good with the ball, then they just forget about it. But, like, the ball's in the pen. I might as well use it. I've introduced her to her to the flag, but I just make it a, a daily routine. Here, here. It just takes a second, and pretty soon, she's just... It's just nothing to her. It's just, she's getting gentle every day. She's believing in me. How'd she and, react after that first time? Oh, man, she, she wanted to move away from it. Her instinct, her number one instinct, and still is, is that of self-preservation, of survival. So in the beginning, she needed to run away to realize she didn't need to run away. So I didn't try to keep her from running away. I let her run away to realize she didn't need to run away. Pretty soon, she says, shoot, I got it. So watch, instead of leading her out the gate, right here, watch, I'm going to send her out the gate and turn her around and back her up. Boy, pretty soon, these, these horses, they're just, they're going to get better. They're going to get better. I got a routine going all the time with me and my horses. Now watch, I want to show you one other thing real quick. Come on around here. This one's pretty handy right here. These green horses, you know, they're they are green. I'm aware that she hadn't been handled that much, so I won't tire hard and fast. So what I'll do with these green horses is I'll just like, go 
go around this post here and just loop it around like that. And, and she, that's probably enough. And she'll think she's tired, but if she sat back, she wouldn't get into trouble. She'd just pull loose real slow, not a problem. And I just bring her right back. And if you watch, I continue to put my hands on these horses all the time. Like, like I'll use, look, just like these shafts sitting here. I'll use anything to, to gentle the horse. Bear in mind, I've already introduced this to her, like in the round pen, but I just keep doing it on a daily basis. I'll just touch her here, 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 here. Just, and again, working both sides. She'll, to where pretty soon, everything I do, she believes in me, and she trusts me, and I'm making a nice, gentle, sort of rock solid kind of a horse. So all these little things that end up making a big difference and before you know it, you got a horse that believes in you, you believe in them, trust is a two way street, you make a nice horse. That's the little things. You know, like me being able to pull my own bull rope that lead to me going 90 and being a legend. <laughs> you know. Exactly The correct. way I tie my spurs on, the way uh <laughs> Well you're all right about that. Yeah. yeah. And then that's what, but I, I just, I, I like how from the moment you step in the pen, you've got a plan of action and it's not just catching your horse, go out the pen. It's all about making the horse better yeah. each moment you have, you spend with it yeah, and let, the relationship. It, actually, that's why they call it horse, man, ship. Horse, man or woman and the relationship you build. If you'll take the time, it'll be a great one. Thanks for joining us here, uh, Craig Cameron's YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Look out for video, more videos.